Hey there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. In this reading, we're going to look at past, present, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. Okay, Sagittarius, the main energy that you're dealing with this week is the star, something that you really, really desire or something that could be challenging in terms of something that you desire, okay? In the near future, near future, oh my gosh, in the recent past, you get the world, the tower, the chariot, three major arcana cards. Something is definitely coming to an end. With the tower here, it's something that is crumbling only to be rebuilt again. And with the chariot, whatever it is this is that's ending, with the chariot, you're moving forward, you're moving fast ahead, um, very positive energy after whatever this is. So we'll see what that is when we clarify. In your current situation, you get the Hierophant, the Sun, and the Eight of Wands. You may be dealing with a marriage or a Taurus, possibly. Either way, this commitment that you are in, which could feel like a marriage or it could just have the intensity of a marriage, um, brings in a lot of happiness and someone here has the desire to communicate about something. It could be that communication is necessary or it could just be that um, someone wants to communicate about something pertaining to this. In the near future, you get the Justice, the Nine of Wands, the Two of Swords. You want to restore balance. There's a situation here that you want to restore balance. It could be internal balance within yourself energetically or it could be within a dynamic but either way there's a lot of confusion and a lot of resistance tied up to this desire to restore balance with the nine of wands it's almost like you're creating this little barricade of sticks um, of energy sticks and protecting yourself and with the two of swords you're very very confused you're not sure how to go about it you're not sure what you should be doing how you should approach this um We'll see what that's about in the near future. But first, let's start off by clarifying the recent past, uh, the world. What is this world in the recent past for Sagittarius? Oh, okay. Two more, please. The world is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Devil, the Ace of Wands. Someone here wanted to take action, has a desire to take action. Now, with the world showing up here, this movement is very, very slow. So whatever it is that's ending, there's a cycle that's ending for you or ended for you in the recent past. And it was a very slow moving cycle. I see the desire here to take action pertaining to something. But with the devil showing up here, that's telling me that this action was probably coming from not a very healthy place. It could be that this, this action was because you were obsessed or it could be that you were addicted to something or it could just feel like it could be that you just felt like you absolutely had to take action when you didn't really want to, okay? Which could be why the Knight of Pentacles is showing up here to kind of show that you were dragging your feet. And again, this could be you, this could be your person. Either way, that whole energy of like, I need to take action, I have to take action, I don't want to, but I will anyway, that, that whole thing is coming to an end or came to an end in your recent past. Let's take a look at the tower in your recent past. <sighs> Intense energies, man. The tower is clarified by the five of swords, the moon, and the ace of pentacles. Again, another ace. There is something showing up here as self-deception. There is a new beginning on the table for you in the recent past. Something started. Something new took place. Could be a new job. Could be a new, like an offer coming in. But either way, this kind of came out of nowhere. Now, the problem with this, it's not so much the problem. It's just that the energies are very intense. With the moon and the five of swords, that's telling you that on a subconscious level, you were self-sabotaging something here. It could be that something took place in your life where it kind of came out of nowhere. You were having a big change, a big move. It could have been, you know, uh, shifting a phase in your relationship, starting a new job, whatever the case may be, something new came in here. And the energy is very, very like loaded and kind of like earth shattering in a sense. Um, and I see somebody here, you are your person creating a scenario in which you're almost self-sabotaging the situation or self-sabotaging this new beginning that was taking place for you in the recent past. Now, with the moon there, that's telling me that you may not even realize that you're self-sabotaging it. You're just, you're acting in a way that you think is right, but on a subconscious level, you are self-sabotaging. Either yourself or you're creating a situation which is not, not beneficial. Let's take a look at the chariot in your recent past. The chariot is clarified by the six of swords, the magician, the seven of cups. 
there's something here that you're manifesting. You're manifesting options. You're manifesting choices, okay? In your recent past, I see you very quickly moving away from something, turning your back to something. It could be, again, something pertaining to this scenario where someone here created a situation which was energetically self-sabotaging. I see whoever that person is, they're kind of like, okay, moving away from this, turning my back to this, like I don't even want to deal with this, whether that was beneficial to them or not, okay? And they're manifesting choices. They're manifesting options. Whoever this person is, you or them, I'm going to say this is you because this is your reading, you're manifesting choices and options in something. It could be pertaining to whatever this new beginning was, whether it's a relationship, a job. Either way, somebody here is leaving something behind or turning their back on something, possibly this energy of, you know, uh, very loaded energy, and they're manifesting options and choices. Very vague but intense energy in your recent past. Let's take a look at the Hierophant in the current situation. Maybe this will clarify what's going on because I'm curious. And if you if this resonates and you feel comfortable sharing in the comments, I would love to know uh, what this situation is for you. Hierophant in the current situation for Sagittarius. The Hierophant is clarified by the Seven of Wands, the Sun, which you get immediately after in the current situation, and the Tower, which you just got in your recent past. Okay. I feel like this new beginning, whatever was happening here, has to do with a commitment, possibly a marriage or possibly a relationship that feels like a marriage. This new, this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning could have been you starting a new phase in your relationship or a new, like a new chapter, moving in together, buying something big together, or, you know, having a child, whatever. This phase is in your recent past is tying into your current situation and there's some resistance here. Okay, it's almost like you're resisting happiness, if that makes sense. You feel this commitment. There's resistance tied up to this commitment for some reason. It could be that you're resisting allowing yourself to feel happy. It could just be that this resistance is preventing you from feeling happy. But either way, in the current situation, when it ties up to a commitment, to a connection, you are showing up as resistant. It's almost kind of like pushing back and setting like walls or limits or boundaries. Now with the tower showing up here, it's telling me that something unexpected is going to happen. Either the energies are just going to be so loaded that something is going to explode. Like, you know, like when you're in, a, you're in a relationship and you're kind of like bottling your feelings, bottling your emotions, bottling your thoughts, and you don't say anything. And then eventually one day you're just kind of like you erupt. This is kind of the energy that I'm getting for the tower here. Okay. And so it could be that you may be putting up this like wall of like, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, just. Let me do my own thing. I'm happy. I'm good. And then bam, something's going to happen where it's like, yeah, I'm not good. This is not making me very happy. And this all ties up to a connection or a commitment, uh, possibly a marriage. Let's take a look at the sun in your current situation. Maybe it'll give us some more clarification. The sun is clarified by the four of pentacles, the five of pentacles, the three of cups. Okay, there you're holding on to this like pain from a separation here. It could be that recently you and this person have gotten back together or you have the desire to get back together. Okay, that, now I understand what this tower is. Okay, so in the current situation, you and this person may have gotten back together after a breakup or someone here has the desire to get back together. Now, this reconciliation brings in a lot of happiness. Happiness is tied up to this reconciliation. However, this person is also carrying and holding on to this energy of a separation, but they broke up with me, but they hurt me, but it didn't work out the first time. Why would it work out now? Oh, we're back together, but this is just going to end again. You know, whoever this person is, they're holding on to all this like very loaded energy, which in the current situation is creating a tower moment for them and creating resistance. This connection brings in happiness for them. Okay. But because they are holding on to this, we broke up, the separation um, feeling or the separation anxiety or the fear of losing this again, they're creating resistance in the current situation. Again, pertaining to this um, reconciliation or this connection. Let's take a look at the Eight of Wands in your current situation. The Eight of Wands is clarified by the Five of Cups, the Emperor and the Temperance, which is you. This is definitely your energy. You want to communicate about what happened in the past, okay? The Five of Cups is here to let me know that you are having this desire, that, and I feel like this might be your energy. 
you're carrying pain from the past. You're carrying pain with what happened between you and this person. Even though in the current situation, I do see happiness. I do see, you know, a desire to be together. However, you're still carrying pain. And I feel like you have this intense desire to communicate or to have the other person communicate with you about what happened in the past, about, you know, things that um, were disappointment, disappointments in the past, pain from the past, any resentment that you may hold, okay? With the emperor though, I feel like you're expecting the other person to do this because the emperor is someone that shows up as very, very cold, very void of emotion. They know what they want, they know how to get it, but they don't express their emotions. And so I feel like you're kind of expecting the other person to come up and make you almost feel better for pain that you're carrying. And um, again, with the emperor, I feel like that's your expectation. I don't know if that's necessarily going to happen. Let's take a look at the justice in your near future. The justice is clarified by the Four of Swords, the Two of Swords, which is right here in your near future. Again, the Page of Wands. You are the Page of Wands to me. I see you working on healing, okay? There is something here that you want to heal. You want to restore balance within this connection because right now there is no balance. I can see that there is no balance. You're teetering between happiness and anger, between, oh, they left me, but I want to be with them. Oh, there's so much pain from the past and we need to talk about this, but I want them to make the first move, okay? You want to restore energetic balance. However, you are currently in the energy of healing yourself and possibly healing this relationship. You're a little bit stuck in your head about how to do it and how to approach it, but the desire to heal this and to restore balance is definitely there in the near future. Let's take a look at this nine of wands in your near future. Very beginning, uh, very confusing beginning to this reading, but as you progress, you can totally see the chain of events. And it's very interesting the way um, the energies evolve. Nine of wands is clarified by the seven of pentacles, the king of wands, the lovers. Yeah, again, I feel like this is you being the king of wands. You feel that this is an intense connection. Again, if this isn't a marriage, this feels like something very serious, all right? And you have the desire to work on it. You want to put in the work. You want to make it work. However, with the nine of wands at the very bottom, there is some resistance to doing this, again, because of all the pain that's been tied up in this connection with things that happened in the past. You feel the intensity. You want to work on it. And I see you knowing that you have the ability to do so. But there is some resistance showing up here because of everything that took place in the past and because of the pain that you and possibly this other person are still holding on to in the near future. Let's take a look at the Two of Swords in the near future, closing off your reading. Two of Swords is clarified by the Two of Cups, the Chariot, which you got directly in your recent past in the same row, the Judgment. Yeah, I see you currently, I mean, in the near future, being a little bit confused, being a little bit up in your head and stressed out about this. However, you're going to move past that. You're going to have a transformational process where you're going to realize like, yeah, I feel love for this person. They feel love for me. I want to be with them. I want to move forward in a very positive, like energetic direction. And you're going to you're going to come to that realization. Um, despite the confusion that you may still be feeling, I feel like that's going to be it's not going to overcome you. It's not going to take over. Um, let's take a look at what the universe has for you this week, what the universe would like for you to keep in mind. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the strength. Yeah. You are going to want to work with this person. There's a collaboration here between you and somebody else. There's action being taken from a place of passion. Now, with the strength card here, it's telling me that it's not easy. It's a little bit difficult. And again, because of the pain showing up, it makes sense why this would be difficult. But I see you taking action from a place of passion, internal desire to work with somebody else and really rebuild a foundation, a solid foundation for what comes next in the future, which is clearly very beautiful energy. So Saj, that is what I have for you. Thanks for tuning in. If this reading resonated, please do me a huge favor. Give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment below. And of course, if you uh, found that this video was helpful, please subscribe. It really helps me out with YouTube. Thanks again. I'll see you here for your reading next week. Bye Saj.